What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a very special guest with me. This is Jesse. Jesse, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, guys. My name is Jesse. Uh, I go by Overland Chef on the socials. Um, I am a professional chef of uh, over 20 years. I've basically lived my life in and out of restaurants. Um, and uh, last year, I decided to give being an Overland Chef uh, a full-time go. Yeah. Uh, and so now all of my cooking and things I do is uh, outside of four walls of a kitchen out in the great outdoors. Very cool. So what we're going to do today, we're going to show you guys Jesse's awesome setup and show you guys everything he has done to it. All right. So we are going to have Jesse show us what he has going on in the front here. So we'll start with the armor here. So that's Jesse, you want to start going? Yeah. So all my armor is uh, CBI off-road, um, starting with their uh, Covert Series bumper. Uh, I've got a Smitty built 10,000 um, pound synthetic wench on there on the fr front. Gear America shackles. Uh, and then we've got uh, Baja Sports in the uh, fog light positions and up here on CBI ditch light brackets. Um, I've got the Lensun solar hood panel that goes straight to my Group 31 battery um, and uh, it helps power my fridges full time. Um, I've left them running for like six months and without an issue. So I'm running um, 1552 Range HD wheels uh, currently on Falcon uh, Wild Peaks. Um, suspension is ARB BP51 suspension, running their control arms as well. Um, CBI skid plates all the way back. Up top, I've got an Extreme LED light bar on the Prince Sue rack, uh, more Baja lights on the Ridgeline, uh, Ridgeline handles. Rome 66 liter cases up top on their rugged mounts. Uh, we boost uh, for, you know, making sure we don't drop any calls on the road. Um, back here are the CBI sliders. Um, and then the brand new addition for us is this uh, Mitz Alloy uh, tray and canopy system, which is super rad. Uh, we are starting a second kitchen build out in this. Um, so we've got uh, the clear view, easy slide that pulls out and drops down so you can get to everything. We're running ARB fridges. We've got two elements and then one of the zero fridges in our trailer. Um, back here, we've got Dobinson's, like the 1300 uh, series leaf springs uh, to hold all the weight uh, and airbags as well to keep us uh, keep us up there. So now let's talk a little bit about the mitts alloy here. So obviously it's a raw material. Do you have any plans for the outside of it, what do you have plans for the inside and all that good Yeah, stuff. sure. So the whole goal for the mitts was to be able to build um, a primary kitchen out of here so that when we're doing some hardcore off-roading, we can get um, over some you know hefty terrain and be able to just take this as the kitchen as opposed to the whole uh, trailer setup. Right. And when we do much bigger events, uh, we can take we can do both. Cool. So, yep, so um, we got a lot of plans for this since we literally just picked it up last week. Um, getting some lighting and power management in here. Um, the MITS uh, and some other great companies make all kinds of organization uh, um, from drawers um, and slide out tables to pull out pantries, um, shelves and all kinds of stuff in here so that we can really, really get it dialed in. Yeah. Um, the goal is to you know not have to be pulling all kinds of heavy things out of the truck. We'll just be able to work completely around the truck. So right, cool. Um, this uh, fridge slide is pretty unique um, where you just kind of give it a pull out and then you drop it down. Wow. So that we're at uh, a much better height yeah. for you getting access your, to all the goods. So, yeah. 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 That's really cool. Yeah. It kind of goes back just as easy. Boop. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So. All right. Um, and then we'll get the, I'm going to get the compressor, um, our um, air compressor mounted inside of here because not only do we have to air up and down tires just like everybody else, but yeah. we use the compressor to pressurize all of our water tanks. We've got 12 gallons right here on the mitt. Oh, wow. That's cool. And then we've got another eight gallons on the trailer. All right. Now back here to the trailer, I have a very similar one, but yours is built a little bit different and probably way cooler than mine. So <laughs> can you show us a little bit about your trailer? Sure. So this is our Rustic Mountain Overland Patrol XTC uh, trailer. Um, it has become the heart of Overland Chef over the last uh, six months or so. Um, we have basically taken our old kitchen setup that was in the back of the truck 
moved it to the trailer and then just gone kind of nuts with it. Um, and so, um, just kind of walking back, we've got, you know, just sort of where we keep our trailer gear here in this Rome case. Um, our fridge is actually in here with uh, batteries, but we'll pull it out on the other side. Um, we've got a bunch of uh, uh, Rusty Mountain Overlands um, steps. Um, they're heavy duty um, fenders on here. Um, we've got a custom trailer um, rack from Extrusion Overland that is um, sort of still a little bit of a work in progress, uh, but it's got some really cool features coming out with it soon. Um, we've got tons of roto packs that we carry with us because our kitchen uh, the water and the uh, sink on it um, that I'll show you in a little bit is uh, hook, hooks up to Rotopack, so we kind of swap them out. Um, this yellow one actually serves as a, a spent oil container for all of our frying oil. So rather than just dumping it at a campsite or something yeah. like that, we can just pour all of our used grease into here yeah. and dispose of it properly. Very nice. Um, H3R Performance uh, has hooked us up with some really awesome fire extinguishers because you just never know. Uh, we do a lot of live fire cooking um, when we're out uh, and about, but even with some of the propane cooking we do, some of that grease can kind of get out of control and we just want to be prepared. Yeah. So eight gallons of water here that we pressurize. And this is really, this bad boy is really to help us spray off dishes. Um, the uh, Free Spirit, this is the Evo 2. This is the most comfortable tent I have ever spent a night in. It is really awesome. Um, it's actually going to live on top of the truck soon um, so that we can just utilize this solely for kitchen. Um, and we store a lot of our gear in Rome cases that we can easily pull out, set down, um, kind of sort of build out um, a kitchen no matter where we are and have access to all of our gear. Um, the kitchen right here, which is sort of my pride and joy, um, right here is this pool kitchen. It uh, slides out, sorry. And then from there, I'm gonna roll off this cover. But wait, we're not done. Pulls oh, out again. And so in these cabinets here, we've got uh, plenty of pots and pans. Um, we've tons of cast iron, as you can see. This, uh, this cavern looks really small. It looks like a small box, but We've got a huge cowboy Dutch oven. We've got a regular Dutch oven. We've got two stock pots, steamer baskets, four different cast iron pans, all the lids and everything. All the power to this kitchen from the water pump to the lights uh, is actually a, a DeWalt 12-volt uh, battery. That's cool. So that's really rad. Oh, yeah, here's the light right here. Mm -hmm. uh, hand sink, and nothing is better than having, like, running water at your fingertips um, wow. all the time to wash hands and stuff. Still, we uh, we just got done with Expo Pacific Northwest, so there's a little bit of detail that needs to ha get done when we get home um, to get ready for the next trip on it. But we've also got a little two burner stove over here. Um, sorry about the little, little okay. grits. Yeah. Um, and then over here, this will uh, pop up for stores tons of, of you know, spatulas, tongs, mixing bowls, plates, forks, knives, spoons. We've got sheet trays in here, a scale. I love to measure out my recipes so I can, uh, you know, recreate them at any time. Yeah. Um, we've got another little cutting board that pops out from here. You probably have more kitchen utensils and, and stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. I have in my house. <laughs> and and this, is, this is only a fraction of it. Like Jeez. we, uh, the, the stuff that doesn't go in the pool kitchen you know, we fill a whole nother room box up yeah. with gear and stuff too. It really depends. Uh, there's a different pack out for each one of our like trips and, uh, and cookouts and, you know, excursions and things like that we do. So yeah. we have to custom t tailor what goes in the kitchen based on each trip. So that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. All right. And so in this tongue box compartment, we actually have another one of our ARB, fl uh, ARB fridges on a Tembo test slide right here. Um, keep a lot of our personal beverages and things like that cold in this fridge while all the produce and, and meats go into the other ones, so. All right, Jesse, so where can people find you to have something like this catered to them? Sure, uh, if you wanna reach out to us, the best way is to hit me up on Instagram, just at Overland Chef. Uh, we also online, overlandchef.com. You can stay tuned to any kind of news, uh, where we're gonna be in the area. Uh, we do have an online store coming soon. 
uh, for some of our merch and some of our um, pantry items like granola, hot sauces, things like that. Um, and just you know, stay tuned there for updates. Yeah, very cool. Thank yeah. you, thank you, Jesse, for showing us your rig. Yeah, thanks for That's having me. That's gonna be it, guys. Hopefully, you guys liked it. This thing is amazing. If you guys have a chance to visit one of the expos or anything like that, be sure to stop by and see Jesse. That's gonna be it, guys. We'll see you guys next time.